Hello. So I was trying to fix that problem and I don't think it actually ended up working. But I tried everything I could, couldn't fix it. So I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and stream with the problem there. But thanks everyone for waiting and being patient on me. Um, it the problem was that it seemed like Twitch wasn't like syncing with my Discord properly. Like it wasn't saying I was live or anything. And I just don't. I'm not sure if I. Uh, why that happened. At first, I realized it's because I hadn't set a category, because I need this a category for like, software development, but nothing was coming up for Game Maker or anything. And I realized I had to set it to science and technology. So, I did that and I don't think it worked. I disconnected my Twitter uh, from my Twitch from my Discord and then reconnected it and I don't know if that actually fixed it or made it worse. Yeah, it's still not coming up. It's a bit annoying. Oh well, I guess I'll like try and puzzle that out again sometime later. <clears throat> but yeah, I am going to attempt to code It works now? You love these kind of problems, you can never tell who the culprit is. Uh -uh. I think it's probably Twitch, although it Discord seems to not have Twitch in the authorized apps. But, um... I don't know if that was even there before, I don't really know, but... Oh god, okay, I am... I, I've never really coded uh, on stream before like this, but I'm gonna just try. Mm. Yeah, these days when there's problems, it can just be so many things. Like, it could be one of like 10 or 20 different things in the pipeline that could be going wrong. Um, okay, so I'm just going to run this. So this program that I'm making is an organization program where you will be able to add tasks and um, edit tasks and remove tasks. Oh, what the heck? I did not expect this right away. So I'm trying to read a variable that I have not created, so that's create event one line ninety three, which is here. Global dot day name, but that's here. Why has that happened? What day is it? Is it like some special day today that's not a day of the week? It's Sunday. What? Aww. <laughs> it's Saturday. <laughs> this is a program that will let you make a list of the tasks you have to do. Um, Kind of. It's like you add tasks to a database and it'll then sort of write those to a text file and then when you open the program again it'll have all the tasks and it will I want to have it so that it will give you or like your the virtual assistant that will be there will uh designate the tasks for you to do that day because I really feel like I need some kind of thing like that and I just I've always wanted this program for like years and so I'm trying to make it now I just I've dreamed of having a program like this and I've tried other things, nothing's just felt right yet. 
Why is this not working? I've never had this per uh, I've never had this problem until now. I've not even updated Game Maker or anything like that. I'm not sure where I'm getting this. I can't actually remember. It's because I add one to avoid confusion. I think it's so that... Um... I said what? Oh wait, maybe it has something to do with that logic because Sunday right is right at the end, right? So I said right like three times. You're probably right. Let's just try that. I don't actually use um, the days yet. Yeah. Okay. You help. Thank you. You fixed it for me. Yeah, I hadn't. I hadn't actually tested uh, running it on. Um, a different day of the week, so I did not actually know that would have happened. Okay, I'm gonna put minus one there just so I can have a backup. This broke. It's probably wrong. That's probably bad code. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Okay, so this this is the virtual assistant. It's gonna be a Vaporeon, but it'll have I'll have other skins probably. But I really want a Vaporeon uh, as my assistant. So there's a new task button. I'm gonna click on it. It lets me enter text and stuff. And I can I can press escape and it'll cancel and I'm proud of that. <laughs> um, so what I'm trying to do now is for the dates because like these are just like entering strings. The dates I realize adding a string for a date is really annoying. So I've got these little arrows. Um, that's the last thing I worked on. I just want to. Uh, try and make these, well, basically I want to try finishing coding these ones. So next thing on my checklist is display buttons above and below the date to allow the user to cycle. Okay, so the thing I need to do is like actually get the cycling working. Oh, well that actually works! Oh, that's awesome! Okay. The down arrows don't work unfortunately, but yeah, all, the, all these up arrows just affect the day, so I'm gonna need to go to those buttons. So, I think... Was it here? No, okay. I have a step event for the up arrow. Okay, so for these... For these arrows, it's going to be the they will detect which arrow for each date or um for each uh number like whether it's days months or years arrow's gonna decide which one it is based on where on the screen it is mm, thanks for subscribing third tail welcome eventually i'll get like a subscriber alert thingy i have not really had time to work in it recently. Though. <laughs> Aww, that Kirby heart. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I know s not all people want to make some big announcement when they subscribe. Um, 
So I don't want it to be like a massive fanfare with a live band playing for the person who subscribes or anything. Oh, okay, interesting. It's like you've subscribed. Do you want to let everybody know? And it like keeps poking you. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if there's some way I can funnel the subscription celebrations. I, I guess what I could always do is just have it be manual. I could just hit a button and my, or like, I could just do something with the stream and have some like manually triggered alert or something. Uh, okay. I'm trying to think, like, for, for, like, certain alerts like that, I probably, it would probably just be best if I had it manually set somehow. Aww. Yeah. I'm still thinking what to do for the subscription thing, because having a looping GIF and some text on the screen is just doesn't it's not what I want to. It's not how I want to approach the subscriber thingy, because it just kind of seems samey, I suppose. But yeah, I'll think of something eventually. Probably I'll get inspired sometime. Okay. Um, I should really have commented all this, but I guess I was lazy. That's just saying when it's clicked on. When it's. Um, also, sir, I hope my keyboard's not really loud. It might be super loud. Confetti, oh. I have confetti. Uh, wait, let me hide my... ...screen for a second... There we go. Yeah, I got confetti, which I also made in Game Maker. <laughs> I was like, I know how to do a little particle system in Game Maker. I'll just use that. Um. <laughs> Thank you. I I had confetti a bunch on my birthday. I think. But it actually works quite well for subscriptions as well. Which I kind of keep forgetting about. Also, it's subtle enough that it's not, like, extremely glaring. Oh my gosh, it'd be nice to have, like, a... Just, like, a really subtle particle system just up all the time. Like, maybe some little fireflies or something. Anyway, um... What was I doing? Okay, if edit day equals one. Wait, edit day? Edit month? Wait, I'm not sh quite sure what that means. I've kind of forgotten. Nothing there. I, I'm not... I can't remember what this means. Aww, okay, I'll take the confetti off. Um... Edit D equals one. I guess, I think it means like if I am attempting to switch the D. That must be it, yeah, okay. 
Um, God, I just I wish I could remember what causes this. Like, should is that something I should like comment? Or is it something I can look up? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, I sometimes I don't fully know what I want. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need to get faster doing that. With practice, I'll get it. Hi, Frico! Good to see you. <laughs> Squish him. I'll stomp them. Um, have you been, Frico? Okay. Okay, but yeah, this whole block of code is just saying, um... If sc scrolling through the month cycle day back to start slash end of month. Let's just stop it going 1st of October, 0th of October, minus 1th of October. <laughs> um, so, uh, let's just all that, right? And that's to account for February with its leap year. I really should have commented this before. <laughs> Some complicated few weeks, aww. I think I'm fairly stable these days, luckily. But it's been really rough, honestly. Overall, that is. Um. Right, I need it some somewhere in this code. I need to ask which arrow is being clicked on. I just wonder if I should put that like here or here, like here. Just think about how to structure this. Okay, this is asking, or this is saying like. When, it, when a button's clicked, it should probably then check 
exactly which button is or like which the location of the button is being clicked. So if I forgot where the buttons are placed exactly. If X I can't remember if these are like exactly in the middle of the screen or not. Let's just double check. Okay, they're not in the middle. Hmm, okay. Because they, they go from left to right when they spawn in, like here, 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 so... Well, I'm a bit scared to do this because of parenting and children, and... I'm not fully sure this this will work, but um... Okay, yeah, instance number object index. This should work. Instance number... what is it? Okay, um... I like to just say capital ID. Like, ID is a game maker... Uh, there's, I guess, like a built-in variable for the instance. So I use capital ID just so that it doesn't get confused. Oh really? What are my neighbors doing, by the way? They're like... I don't know what they're doing, actually, but they're being awful to me. I might have to hit the ceiling with a broom or something. Yeah, I have to. God, they're being really awful. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh my god, I I hit the ceiling with the brim in the hallway. No, in my bedroom. And I really should have taken the dust off of the brim for when I was cleaning up recently because I think I inhaled some dust from it. It's awful. Gosh. Oh god, oh. Hope that dust gets out of my lungs. The math channel I watch has been doing a weekly- Are they still st stomping? Oh my god. Oh, I can't stand it! Hold it! I'm back. My neighbor stomped at me back. Like they literally just don't care sometimes.
Mattel you watch has been doing a weekly puzzle. And the one for this week seemed appropriate and simple enough to make as a game. Aww, that sounds interesting. Hi event, welcome. <coughs> I was just a way to hit my neighbor's ceiling because they're stomping and not being really respectful. Okay, so yeah, I set I've set the ID. And uh yeah, that's fine. That should be all I need, I think, to do this. Yeah, um, oh, I forgot to actually post my stream in the Discord, or whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I was trying to fix that issue with my Discord not actually syncing with my Twitch. And I, I don't know why it stopped doing that. I tried to fix it, but it didn't work. So I'm gonna look into it later. Hi, Lou. Welcome. I'm trying to work on the organization project. Because I'm stupid. It just, I don't know. I heard recently that someone else had also stopped working. And I was like, well, it works for me. He must have just not connected it properly. But it's, uh. I don't know. It's the first time it happened to me, although I've not streamed in like two months or something. What are those emos? Civ. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so if this ID equals one... That means... It's going to be editing the day. I'm not sure if it's an outage. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to have to investigate on reddit or something because i feel like these days reddit's like the one of the best place to go for like recent updates to stuff like discord if id equals two oh wait else if yeah what's wrong with this why isn't it like this Expected symbol. Oh, I forgot. Oh, okay. That's what was missing. I really like this highlight system for the brackets, it really helps. Okay, um... Okay, I'm just gonna have to test these buttons. What are you doing? <laughs> I guess it is an oval face. I suppose that makes sense. Right, um... Mm. So really need to check if the day is being edited if it already knows the difference. Okay, at least these buttons detect. I'm not pressing them. Aww, chocobos. Need some chocobo music. Hmm, what do you guys think actually? I've, I've kind of got the chill music on. I could put on some of the more uh, upbeat songs. Or, well, I could just go through and grab them. 
Okay, let me look for Chocobo. Not Kobo. Chocobo. There we go. Oh, that must be a Windows Update thing. That wasn't a thing before. It isn't alt with search either, you have to like click on it. That's quite nice actually. Okay, we're gonna put on all the Chocobo songs. Because <laughs> the bank got me in a Chocobo mood. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to go back. There we go. I, I don't think I need that at all, actually. I'm just gonna experiment and just like deleting these brackets. Ah, oh, there's an else I'll get rid of. <laughs> just to warn you, when the Choco music comes on, it might be like a dance song. Oh? I'm actually trying to work out why this didn't work. If global edit day equals one. Oh, wait, no, I'm stupid. Okay, this is detecting if the day I am modifying is at one, like, of value one. I had a feeling that was, like, redundant. Turns out it wasn't redundant, I just misinterpreted it. Okay, if day is being... Er... If attempting to scroll back at day value one There we go. Concha. <laughs> oh, this is a classic one. Music felt really quiet there. Hope the music's not too loud. If global edit month equals one. Yeah, I think this is quite simple actually. Um, Okay, all I need to do here is just put global edit month to 12. And then this code is gonna say. <coughs> right. If scrolling back. If scrolling back from January, make month December. Um. Oh god, so many of these are so nostalgic, these songs. I listened to these so much when I was little. Oh, I don't know if you remember, I had a problem with the volume of the playlist. Like, sometimes the lowest I could lower the volume to would still be too loud. But I updated it. Actually, I could show you. 
have it set so it's not um, a linear volume control, which is something I, I complain about sometimes. You have to watch Larry write in the arcane language of the game makers. Aww. Aww, those cats. <laughs> yeah, so when I turn it up, it gets really loud. In fact, hold on, let me turn this down first. Um, so, okay, when I turn this up, it gets a lot louder. And then when uh, when it gets quieter, it gets a lot quieter on the volume thing. I can still really faintly hear that, which is sometimes the volume level I want, where it's like super background uh, music level. See, if I want the music super quiet, I can actually do that now because I reassigned the volume parameters a bit, which I didn't know was even an option in Winamp. So I'm happy that that is... well, I'm happy that was a thing that Winamp could do. Okay, anyway, um, scroll back from January, make month December, else just global.edit month minus... no, yeah, minus equals one. Subtract month. Oh, legacy version? Is that the one that looks all like black and green and red? Oh my gosh. I remember my brother, my older brother kept using the really old version of Winamp because he used some plugins that could make music higher in pitch or lower in pitch and also like increase the tempo and decrease it. And um, he was like, it's great, you should get it. And he kind of sort of dumped it on me. <clears throat> and I was like, well, these are nice, but I'm not that into them. But I, I couldn't end up using the older version because like, I can't handle when WinApp doesn't loop like a WAV file like absolutely seamlessly, which is something the later version can do. Or at least back then that was the, the something the later version could do. And I was like, nah, I don't care about these plugins, I want the seamless loop so badly. Because sometimes I just loop a really short section of music for ages. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm... <laughs> Someone else used the emo and it made me really happy. <laughs> Someone that isn't me. Because usually I use that wave emo in... Um, stream chats. So I have a high emo. <laughs> Okay, so the condition here that I want to... Or, it's not a condition, I forgot the term, but... Yeah, it is a condition, is it? Yeah. Um, if... Oh god, actually, how is this gonna work? Is it a value or is it a string? I think it's a string. Oh god, this might get a bit weird, but um... Okay, if edit year equals zero... Global dot edit year equals... 1999... <laughs> it seems redundant, because it means like someone's gonna sign... a task for the next century. Which see, I know that seems crazy to me, but yeah, that seems completely redundant. But I guess 
I guess I'll just type it anyway and just sit just there. <laughs> Scrolling back to the previous <laughs> century. Look around from string zero zero to string ninety nine. Mm, I'm. I think I'm doing good today. I think today's went fairly well. I think I was doing something today. Oh yeah, I was kind of just messing around with art a bit. How are you doing, Event? And everyone? Okay. Just subtract month by one. Okay, this is going to be the weird bit because I need to subtract a value of 1 from a string. Twitter doom scrolling? <laughs> is that... Is that just the... Is that what you call uh, just scrolling through your normal feed on Twitter? Sprites to finish up? Oh, that sounds kind of fun. Although... R always sounds fun in concept. Just if you're doing it a lot, it can be quite draining. Ooh, okay, edit year equals Okay, so I won't do the minus neg or sorry, oh the <laughs> minus negative. I won't do net negative equals here because I can still type that in a way, but this needs to be a bit more precise. Um, global dot edit year equals um, okay string. So all of this needs to be converted back into a string, but it's going to be val, I think. No value. Hmm. String convert something into a string. How do I convert something into a value from a string? Variable. No. Okay. If this, like, if this manual wasn't here, I would not be able to code at all. I'm so grateful that this is here. Considering you have to make a few 8 angle sets in a 120 by 120. Oh, is that like when Sonic is... I guess like an example is like when he's going around a loop-de-loop -loop and he's got 8 sprites for each angle. And then also when he... At least I think when he hits a spring in maybe like Sonic 3 or, I can't even remember, but there's some things that make him, like, spin through the air on a different axis. Is it like that sort of stuff? Oh! Are these, uh... SRB2 cart sprites? Yeah, I wanted to do those with my fursona, the blue mouse. Um, I just, I didn't know how big to make the sprites, or I didn't know the restrictions, so I just, um, 
I got too scared. <clears throat> I kind of just wish I had a sprite sheet that someone could give me that I could edit, and I would just sort of do all the art that way. And yet, I find myself getting too invested in problems with people you don't really interact with. Oh. Oh, thanks. V Vada Peg. I, I don't know how to actually say it, or really. Vada Pega. I kind of said that. That's, that's how my brain thinks of it anyway. Okay, real number function. Choose random. Round floor. Nope. Nope. Is string. Or is it just number? No, it's not number, okay. Um. <laughs> Veda Pega. <laughs> that sort of thing annoys me where it's like you got va and pe, but <laughs> certain accents pronounce both the same. Oh god, it drives me crazy when someone pronounces Japanese wrong like that. Oh my god, you know the Vocaloid? Uh, Rin Kagamine. This girl that I was, used to be sort of friends with was convinced that the, the, like, the way to say it in Japanese was Rin Kagamine. I was fuming. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh... Oh yeah, Lou. I... I don't know if I can handle Twitter anymore. Unless I just unfollow, like, everyone. Unless, like, they're people I really trust not to just get all dramatic. I just... I can't handle it anymore. I get way too anxious and it, like... After I, like, close the phone, like, I'm still anxious for, like... The, the whole day, sometimes weeks after, sometimes months after, like sometimes memories will just pop in my head again. Just the, the least, the less amount of things in my life that end up doing that to my brain with bad memories, the better. <clears throat> For, where is this function I'm looking for? Real number functions. No, that I already clicked that, didn't I? Vector? Nope. <laughs> I've already been string, it's just gonna come up with like a bajillion things, right? Oh god. How am I supposed to find this function? I just want to turn it back into a number. Value isn't a thing. Hmm. It's not numbers, it's not value. I do talk about it, I think. Why is my avatar doing that with its mouth? Why is that happening? Okay, I'm gonna turn in the sensitivity. I shouldn't be oscillating that extreme. Okay, that should be better. I'm gonna skip that one just because we we'll see remixes with rap lyrics. Sometimes 
get a bit too, uh, I guess, like, rappy. Oh, thanks, Vadafega. <laughs> Should I sing along? Oh. Is that F Zero? I guess those got caught up with the uh, Final Fantasy songs. Um. Okay. How do I turn this back? Real? Ugh. We found it. That's all that matters. We found it. Okay, um... Okay, so... Global.edit year. Okay, we're gonna convert this string into a real number and do maths with it and then immediately turn it back into a string. <laughs> So that should work. <laughs> you got to make it real. Is that from Sonic R? <laughs> oh, I love Captain Falcon too from Final Fantasy. What? Oh, I love the Sonic R music. Can I just put on Sonic R music? Mm, I could. Um... I doubt I'd get flagged for Sonic Car, right? Do I even have the music? I bet I don't. Yeah, I don't have it. Oh well. That's okay. I could just play off YouTube. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, I need to take a bathroom break, so I'll be back in just a minute or two. I'm back. <sighs> okay, what was I doing? See, it's just saying minus one, right? Mm. 
Mm. I just hope converting it to a real number includes the zero at the start. Oh god. Mm. Thanks, Loon Event. Right, I have an idea. I need to split the two digits apart and then put them back together all in one thingy. Um, is this still running? Oh, oops, wait, no goey. <laughs> what was I going to look for? I think it was just string copy, right? I think I just wanted to see how this worked. String index and count. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, there's going to be two string copies going on. <clears throat> I'm going to have to copy this just because it's going to Oh, another rap song. Bye. <laughs> I just don't trust rap songs unless I've listened to them first. I've had some nasty surprises with the lyrics sometimes. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Copy the first. Okay. Editor is going to be the first digit plus Oh, but what if it's subtracting a zero? It's gonna become minus one Mm. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to try a different approach using the splitting thing, so I'll use an if statement. If string copy that, so if the last number is a uh, zero string then I have to tell it to uh subtract the first one or sorry the first digit as well as the second but it's gotta check if it's zero zero, so I need to worry about that. It's already set, so <clears throat> if that is happening then the, the edit year value is Oh, oh no, that went wrong. If the last digit is zero, then take the first digit Turn it Turn the first digit into a real number 
subtract one from it. That's all contained here, so it's negative one from the real number. And then turning the result in back into a string. So that's the first digit. And then plus nine. Because it's subtracting from zero, so it's gonna be nine no matter what. So that's that instance done. So uh if cycling string back how do I even say this? If needing to wrap second digit to from zero to nine, <coughs> do it. I don't know how else to say it. Split both numbers apart and stitch them back together. Modify them as a string. Aww, that's a nice event. Uh, I'm not going to be streaming for too long, honestly. I just wanted to do a little bit, because I do need to stream more. I also need to really encourage myself to do shorter streams more. Because if I just did smaller streams, I could stream a lot more. I just need to stop myself. So uh, that's a new stream goal. It's to stream less, but stream more. Um, I guess like, I kind of sometimes feel like I have to stream for like three hours for it to feel like a proper stream. That's not always the case. So I'm just going to try and not worry too much about that. Not like worry too much, just like I don't, I want to try and get that habit out of my brain. My yarn ball brain. Mm, yeah, this stream I only wanted to do it for like one or two hours. Oh, this stream, it, this the song is so goofy. Larry is a really brain. Right, uh... So if needing to rap... Oh god, I love this song so much. Such good memories. It's probably not too audible, especially while I'm talking over the song, but... <laughs> oh, it's cute. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's just a robot singing about their addiction for Final Fantasy. They're singing about how they're excited to play Final Fantasy X on PS2. <laughs> I think that was the last song, wasn't it? Yeah. So now what do I put on? Um, 
Oh, inappropriate, yeah. Um... I kind of like the diamond beat ones, I'll just put this back on. Um... Oh, I need to put, turn shuffle back on, don't I? There we go. I normally never have shuffle on, but... I know that these songs aren't in any preferred order, so it's fine. <clears throat> Speaking of PS2, I've never been more ambivalent about a new console generation. I need to look up that word. So what am I doing here? String real string copy global edit year index two copying one character. That that should work, right? Okay, time to test it. You probably wait for Ratchet and Clank to get a PS5. Oh, you're undecided as to whether to make a proposed course of action. It's <clears throat> quite a nice word. Okay, um... Uh, day cycle back. Month cycle back. Yes! It works! The year cycle back! <clears throat> Yay! So now that that all works... Time to copy everything. And do the same for a button down. <coughs> oh god, hold on, I need to clear my throat. Or maybe I don't. Maybe I could just drink water. <laughs> oh, that Ratchet and Clank game actually looked really exciting. <coughs> Nineteen ninety eight. <laughs> Clank or Spiral Four, depending on if the letter comes out first. Is Spiral Four confirmed, or is it just speculated to be a thing? Uh. So, this is for clicking the button down. Alright, I'm gonna need to redo all these comments. I'm tempted to scroll up past the max day value for the month. Mmm. Okay, so it's uh if the day I'm editing is the uh like I've got this variable set so um it's not a variable, it's an array of variables. Um I got this set to um like each array value is assigned to a month and then each value just says how many days are in that month. But if it's February, it's going to get confused. 
Because of the leaf here thing. Mm, I love. I would love a Spyro for. Especially okay, okay. Just two two sides I want to say. One, they did such a good job with Spyro trilogy. They put so much like quality into those, like completely above and beyond. They like practically redesigned all the characters, like all the lesser characters, all the enemies, made like really detailed, charming models and everything. It's completely transformed, and it's beautiful. And, um... Yeah, the second thing I was gonna say is just... Considering how great they did the Crash 4 game... Like, if they just do the same for Spyro 4, it's just gonna be amazing. Yeah. I'm I'm biased for Spyro because Spyro 2 was like one of my childhood games. It was like yes, sometimes for Christmas I would just get a, a whole new console. One of those Christmases was PS1 and I had Rayman 1 and Spyro 2. Rayman 1 was really cool, really interesting and really fun. But I soon hit a wall because it was just so difficult. Um, about halfway through Bandland was where I started to really struggle. But Spyro 2 wasn't that hard, so I played a lot more of Spyro 2 back then. And I beat, I beat the game 100%. Then I wiped my save and started the game again. And got 100% again. Then I wiped my save and played it again. And I just... Well, I, I didn't do that like every week, but every time I beat the game eventually for at 100%, I would just want to play the game over again. Because it was. It, the Spyro 2 was that fun that I just got so much replay value out of just going through the game again and again. And then later in primary school, when I was about 10 years old or something, um, one of my quote-unquote friends back then because everybody was a jerk they gave me a cheat code for Rayman 1 which isn't like a it's, it's like the cheat code you get when you beat the end of the game which unlocks everything and gives you 99 lives um, someone yeah someone gave me that code and I was like Oh! So then I put in that code for Rayman 1 and suddenly the whole game was unlocked and everything was 100% completed but it meant I could like visit levels that I never managed to get to. So that's how I saw the rest of Rayman 1 was through a cheat and I got to attempt the harder levels and sometimes it sometimes I was just like oh my god I would probably never be able to beat this level, like, legitimately. It's just so... stressful. <laughs> um... But, I know, it, it was actually fun to have that cheat and have all the extra lives, because it gives you 99 lives as well. Um... So it was quite nice. I got to experience the cake world at the end as well. Oh god, that was really fun, actually. Just having all those extra lives to get through those levels was good. Oh, you played it on an emulator? That's cool. Oh, Lou. Yeah. Oh, the music was really nice, too. And all the characters were just really fun. Okay, so it checks when Oh god.
Okay, okay, okay. Th this should work. So, the array value is the current month. So that will check based on what month selected on, on the uh, in the app. It will check if um, the day is set to the maximum amount of days in that month. And even if it is a leap year situation with February, it will go here asking, hold on, is this February I'm looking at? So then I'll be able to say, okay, if it's February, check the leap year before doing anything else. So this will work. Spire 2 3 had this really clever J. Wardian writing style. Aww. I don't know that guy. Is that just like a game writer? Or just a writer in general? Or like a cartoonist, maybe? Okay. If February. Um, If it is a leap year, then make the leap year one, else it's zero. Okay, yeah, so this just says if it's a leap year, you're going to add on another day, so. I'm gonna run this again, or run this check again here. Okay, so it's still checking if it's February, so... It has done that step. So the next step is another if statement, which is gonna be this. Earthbound? Oh! Okay, if the day I'm on is February plus leap year. Wait, what's this? Oh, right, yeah, I just need to delete this then. Guy who did a show called Rocky and Bullwinkle. Oh! Well, that's nice. I had I had no idea he was connected to Spyro. <clears throat> had this really clever subversive style that threw in a lot of smart commentary and then then modern pop politics, pop culture. Aww. That's really nice then. Oh. I'll check if I've typed this right after I make it all tidy. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> so if... Okay, it's just double checking here. Um. If the date is really <laughs> at the end of February. <laughs> so in the code I run for that case... Oops, um, it's gonna be... global dot edit day equals... one, okay. <laughs> Oh, right, all right, sorry, I misunderstood you. Aww. I'm gonna sneeze. Um, okay, maybe not.
There we go. <laughs> I was trying to find where my uh, my fear button was. Oops. Oh, it's such a nice Wind Waker song. Right, where was I? Um, cycle day back to value one. Okay, so this is the else condition. Oh wait, I'm confused. <coughs> I'll look at this in a minute. Um, oh, I see. I I must have seen Rocky and Bullwinkle on Boomerang or something. I definitely saw them on TV. I just don't know how, but somehow those cartoons made it to my Scottish TV as a kid. In some way. Okay, so if the day is equal to the end of the month, for sure. So, okay, if this is 28, and it's not a leap year, this will count as the end of the month and reset it. If this is 29, and it is a leap year, then that counts as the end of the month. If this is 28, and it is a leap year, so it's 29, that won't run, and instead it'll go here. So what am I trying to say here? I think I would just say... Global edit day would just still be plus one. February's day from 28 to 29 in the year case. Oh, that was a pain, but it's there. I think we need all that space. I'll tidy this up a bit. So I'm a little subconscious about how I'm like doing all my tab spaces and stuff. Um, because I know that a a programmer thing is like when you see how someone else like organizes their code, you often think, "Oh God, it's such a mess! This is not how I would do it." So I'm like a bit <laughs> wary of that. <clears throat> Ooh. Thank you, Event. Thanks for coming. Hope you enjoy your stream and enjoy rooting for your bay in the tournament. Okay. So it's just saying. Wait, hold on. Okay, actually, I need to make sure the end of this whole thing is actually right here. It's 
started naming variables A, B, and C. Aww. <laughs> yeah, I use I sometimes. I used to like have that be a built-in variable that would stay in the code, but... I think now I have I mostly as like a temporary variable that gets removed from memory as soon as the block of code's done. Okay, so... If the date is at the end of the month. In the case of February, apply leap year variable, which is temporary. Um, if the date is really at the end, depending on if it's a leap year or not, then just run that back. Otherwise, just move the day up from 28th to 29th as normal. So that is February done. Okay, so that's if it's February, so else is just a uh, If not, <laughs> if any month other than February, <laughs> it's an interesting idea. Oh wait, no, it's not because it's, it's the same amount of days. <laughs> I got mixed up. No, I did think of like how I, I did think recently like what if I made like a sarcastic announcement that might be interpreted as real, but I have the release date set as February thirty first to be like okay, it's obviously not on because this day doesn't exist. Like, I wonder if people would still be like, when's it on? Was it a mistake? <laughs> like, I, it's hard to know if that would like legitimately confuse people. <gasps> penguin! Hello. How have you been, Penguin? 1313 2013. <laughs> Oh, we didn't. Okay. If any month... Oh, Penguin, yeah. This is the first time I'm doing a coding stream. I didn't know how well it'd go, but I think it's... Like, I am being very slow, but it's... kind of working out. This is just me trying to set, like, a calendar... kind of... function. It'll be out in Gen Sember for April first, two thousand and four. Okay, so it's the end of the month. It's not February. All I have to say is global edit day equals one. That's all. It's easy. There's no tricks. <laughs> if I, I'll just say don't worry. Hopefully that does not bite me in the ass later. <clears throat> oh, good to hear you're doing well, Penguin. I know it was so long ago, but I really did enjoy when you played uh, that Roblox parkour stream you did. I 
as I like have fond memories of that stream. It's just really cute and wholesome. Wait, have I done that right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, that's right. Some of this is backwards because I'm swapping from up arrow to down arrow, so add day. So that's that's all the day things. Uh I could show you. <clears throat> if this breaks, I'll be very surprised, but this is an organization program I am making. This is gonna be like a virtual assistant. Currently they're just a square. But when I create a new task um, to add to the database, it comes up here. I can click on a thing and say that my task name is this. I can type something. And then if it's wrong, I can just press escape and it'll revert. Um, But for the calendar, I thought maybe typing in letters would be a bit fiddly. I'll probably have it optional, but... I have a... up and down arrow thing here. So you can set the day, the month, and the year. Something I do need to test is like this, because now it's set to the 31st of February. And I was going to have the code look out for that and like scale it back to the end of the month there. But still like have the end of the month in memory. Just in case you scroll back to the end of the month that you were on and it will kind of go back. Cause it'll try and recognize it so that it doesn't be like okay it's the 31st of march i go to february okay now it's the 28th because there's no 31st of march then you scroll back to may and it's like okay i've set it to the 28th of march <laughs> like i want to try and like have it the code remember that you were on march a speed run uh i'm not sure if it was a speed run it was like a. Oh god, it looks like a nightmare, but it, it was like 200 levels of like Roblox parkour and um, each time you got through one of the levels you would get a checkpoint I think and it was like this big like map in the sky and you'd just fall and then just respawn back in the blocks in the air. Um, also, for the code, um, I'm currently just like coding in these arrows. I have up and down for days working. I have the, all the top ones working. Now I'm just trying to get the... Uh... Uh, month and year arrows working. Wait a minute! I think I got these mixed up because up is making it go backwards. But down is making it go forwards. Hmm. Hmm. Up or down? I could change it from a direction to maybe plus and minus. I'm pretty sure up would be adding though, right? I should probably just swap the code around. Huge parkour obby, yeah. <laughs> 550 levels, that's right, yeah. I was just like, oh my god, that map looks crazy.
Hmm, yeah. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Like, it's not gonna have a conflict if I just literally do this. So now I just copy all of that. Put this in the down section. Thumbs up. Okay. I'm not sure why I thought button up would subtract. I, I'm, I have no idea why I thought that. <laughs> but now they're back around. America's backwards, left is are up and down is left. <laughs> Oh, that's another thing. If I am to release this program to be used by other people, I'm gonna have to make sure that I have an option to switch the date and the month around. Because I know that the month comes first for Americans, usually. Um, okay, where am I? I was on here. I think I have a checklist yeah I have a checklist option for like the the end of the month remembering that value when sc scrolling between the months that's a separate checkbox so once I've done all this and it works I can tick that off and then maybe work on the date memory thingy <clears throat> Yeah, Vatapeka. I use that naming system for, my, for like all of my files for these days. <clears throat> just having everything chronological just really helps me parse through things. I'm a success. What is this? Huh? I read about it in a magazine. <laughs> what? I'm popular. I'm captain of the yacht club. Yeah, because it's with time as well. That's true. That's how cameras, um, that's, that's how photos are named by default on cameras. Year, year, month, month, day, day, hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second. And they also maybe have like a other four digit number after that for like milliseconds. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I would like everything to just be synced up between countries, but... So you've got two countries, societies, and traditions set in stone for that country. It's really hard to just make one of them give it up. So, like, it, it'd be great if it was consistent, but it's just, a, realistically speaking, I have no idea how that could even be attainable, unless... They were just forced to. And like, people would adapt. They'd complain, but they'd eventually just get used to it. Like how they possibly got used to the Twitter update and all the YouTube updates. Okay, anyway. What is a singer? They're putting on a weird voice. <laughs> the armor is yours. <laughs> it's really funny. Okay. If it's December, and I'm clicking the up arrow, that is up arrow now, to say, okay, it's January. I've never noticed his lyrics before. 
time for America to switch in which way to wear clothing. Shoe first and so- Oh no! <laughs> no, that's not a good idea! Or, well, okay, maybe it is. I'm just a filthy European. I don't know class, like America. Although, you're European too, I think it's... <laughs> I guess I didn't quite work. I'm a filthy Scot! There we go. Wait, I missed what you said. Oh. <laughs> That's a really funny song. Who did that? I don't know if this was by a music artist, it just seemed to be done by like three people. That's kind of cool. Oh, I really want to do OC remixes if I can. It's a dream of mine. I'd love to make remixes and upload them there. Socks over shoes should only be used when practicing how to mean one. <laughs> oh, I guess that makes sense. No. <laughs> right, I just need to swap this. If the year is 99, if scrolling forwards to the next century, <clears throat> it's just gonna be zero zero. Loop around from string ninety nine to string zero zero. Otherwise, oh, this nightmare again. Okay. If okay, if the second digit is nine, you need to wrap second digit from nine to zero. It's like the first. Okay, the first digit just adds one, right? It's the first digit, add one plus zero. Oh, I spelled stitch wrong! Okay, else if just adding one number. <clears throat> the year is just this, which is fine. Then just add one here. That actually wasn't too bad. I thought that was going to be a lot more of a hassle. Yay! Thumbs up! <laughs> uh, okay. Why? Okay, oh wait, okay. Adding one. So adding the day, subtracting the day. Adding the month. Nope. Why? Why does that happen? I must have missed something. It appears I have mixed these sections up for some reason. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know how I end up doing that. That's weird. <laughs> I should have fixed everything. Hi, Mr. Do. 
I'm working on my organization program. Not I'm not planning on streaming too much longer. Yay, now it works. Yay, it works! I can tick that off. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. Oh, it, it breaks when my cursor goes off the screen. If it stays in the screen, it's fine, but it... I need more code to have it track the mouse while it's outside the screen. I think it's like it forgets the mouse is clicking on it here. So I've, I've still got the mouse held down, only snaps back once it's touching the mouse again. That's a bit janky. <clears throat> I can do that later though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um... So... I could attempt doing this, like, day saving thing. <sighs> so the only thing I need to worry about is the month for this change. Is it ever- it's only ever going to be a problem if I'm using the month cycling thing. Yeah, but uh, that's right. Ideally, it should only stop tracking the mouse once I have uh, actually let go of my mouse, unless... Unless if the mouse is outside the screen, it stops receiving the information that the mouse is being clicked. But I'm not entirely sure. <clears throat> it might be focusing on the collision, or it might be focusing on the mouse being held down. I doubt that having the mouse held down and pulled out the window would stop the mouse from being tracked. I'm sure it would be a global thing. But um, I guess I'll get to that. I should write that down. Um, okay, that dragging. Maybe not dragging, but movement. I could say physical management. Okay, this is just gonna be bug. Stops tracking mouse movement when mouse button is being held and mouse is dragged off out of the window. <coughs> I mean, I know how to code that I can see differences. Oh. <laughs> Luckily, GameMaker's not too complicated with its code. Um, I don't need to worry about classes or... Um, Assigning billions or tracking billions or any of that stuff. Um, sometimes I see that in code, like more advanced code than Game Maker. I'm just like, oh god, it's probably not too complicated, but it looks complicated for me just because I don't have any idea what this even means. Okay, this is gonna change the. Uh, the month. <clears throat> so you have to make a new if statement for the day. Okay, so if global dot... Oh, hold my throat. I need to drink water. Okay, global edit day is Greater than. <laughs> oh my god, I can't get my throat clear. Maybe I should just ignore it. If global edit date is greater than 
code node to month days global edit month. Oh, my throat, my voice is getting really weak. I'm getting old. Um. Okay, hopefully that should be better. I'm the type of person that can't make it or tell you how to fix it. You can tell you what's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, sometimes I'm clear my throat. I just mute my mic. And then my cat just starts screaming, like... And it's just mysterious what's happening behind the mic. <clears throat> also, I'm really glad that that hypothesis for like how to get it to track high frequencies and like the E sound uh, ended up working. So I thought like, oh, okay, if the audio is oscillating really fast, it must be a high pitched note. So when I actually go. Tss it like comes out. Oh god, I'm just so happy that worked. Just using audio theory. And it paid off. I just wish I could do it for other mouth sounds, but I think it just gets a little bit too complicated to track. So I think like just having the open mouth shape and then just like a closed mouth shape for when the teeth are together. I think that's probably the only two I'll realistically need. Um, anyway, I was rambling. What am I doing? Okay, if edit, if the day is now greater than the month because I put the month to a month that doesn't have as many days. <clears throat> How would I do this? I think I'm gonna have to make another global variable realistically. Thank you. Oh wait, if I'm doing this the way I think, I might need to edit this a little bit. God, that song was cool. Wow. Meow. <laughs> wait, that meow was weak. Meow. If the day is more than the month, what does it do? Um. I want the day to still be the day that it is, but just to like display differently. But it tracks the day itself, so it has to actually change the value for it to be different. Um. <laughs> also, I hope that meow wasn't too loud. I hope it was. As light as my voice. I don't want my mouth to like startle people. Yeah. <laughs> I could do like a little meow. A kitten meow. Imagine this cat character is a little kitten. That'd be a bit bizarre. Uh, for now, I just want it to be displayed as day, day, month, month, year, year. I think later down the line, I will add an option to switch it around. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Right. If the date is bigger than the month, allows 
Mm. How am I going to do this? I, I'm going to just have to make another global. That's the only easy way to do this, I think. I <laughs> look like a kitten. Aww. There's supposed to be like a two or three year old cat. Roughly. Maybe one or two year. Like they're still fairly young, but um... Not like an actual baby. Strong enough to fend for themselves, but still like excited about the world. Mm. Why do I call this new variable? Cat ears, yeah, cat ears. Not as in human ears. <laughs> Otherwise, I would not be able to talk. I just go. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> 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 oh, that face. Anyway, uh, that's the only other expression I have. I'll have a sad crying face at some point. I haven't drawn it yet, but. Those look so babby enough. Aww. Two cat years or 24 human years. Aww. Interesting. Yeah, um, I think 24 is an okay age for human years for the cat. Honestly, like... They're able to fend for themselves. But they're still, like, quite young in spirit. I pro I'd probably say they're, like, maybe 19 or 20. Or 21. <laughs> yeah. This face was for when I was playing Alien Isolation and I was like hiding. It's got like a little timer on it. It's like eventually it uh, goes back to normal if nothing's happened. And I did that in case uh, there was like a 10 scene. But then like, I'm so into the game that I don't remember to change the expression back so it has like an auto, auto timer that changes it back for me. But sometimes a moment, a scary moment would last for longer and it would just keep making me happy during the tense scene. Um, so I might... I don't know what I'll do. I might turn off the timer, I'm not sure. But um, I also have a thing that if I... Because I'm playing the game and there's a tense moment, if I scream or if it gets really loud, then um, the the program assumes that I'm like, oh no! Because it's like, if I'm in, if I'm playing a scary game and there's a scare, I want the cat to like actually be shocked the moment I do it and not have to rely on a button press, so. It, uh, <laughs> they scream even when I'm talking normally because sometimes it just gets loud or I like thump the desk or something by accident. <clears throat> Which is kind of funny, but um, that's kind of the system that worked. Yeah, bad up, Pega. That was that's the idea. Like if I double tap it or if I like hold it down for just a second, it would go on permanently until I like switch it back manually. <coughs> oh, what was I doing? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm coming up with a variable name for this. Edit day buffer is the first thing I think of. I'll just say edit day memory. Because it is technically sort of keeping the day in memory temporarily. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, this song is jamming. Castlevania? Wow. Mm, so good. I'll have a cat dance expression as well. Uh, 
only I could get them to detect temple. I could just have them dance in the beat. Hmm. I think I could code that. Maybe. If I get went up to put the metadata of a song that has tempo in it into a text file, I can just get the program to read from that text file and assign itself to that many beats per minute. Oh, but that sounds very troublesome just for a tiny little detail. Oh, but I'd love it. Oh, maybe I will do that actually. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna have to set this variable before I run the game again because it'll crash. <clears throat> but for now, global edit day memory is global edit day. So this is going to store the like the 31st of February. Um before changing the day itself. So now I'm gonna say global edit day equals So cute how it ended. Anyway, um bubble dot edit. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to copy this, aren't I? <laughs> okay, if the year is a leap year. It's a bit annoying to define twice, but... Oh well. Okay, if the day is equal to that, I don't know if I want it to be equal exactly. Let's check. Um, I think I actually want to check is just if it's February. Oops, I cut. That was not the right button. <clears throat> okay, if it's February. Then I am going to run this if statement check for if it's a leap year. So if it's February and it's a leap year, then I just want to say, or basically it's just going to log if it's a leap year. Um, Oh, that's right. I was just going to assign it to that. So that will make it either 28 plus 0 or 28 plus 1. So that will take care of that. So I think I can just erase all that. Okay, if it's not February... I basically know that it's... No matter what, it's gonna be uh, global edit day equals 30. Every other month is just 30, no matter what. If, if day is greater. So it'll only be greater than my one day unless it's February, which is covered here. So that should work. Yeah, 
Uh, um, well, basically, because February is the exception in the calendar, like, it's the only month with, like, a, a weird end-of-month condition, and much lesser days, I cover that in here, because it's like, if the month you're ed editing is February, which is number two of the calendar. So that, what to do with if it's February is covered here, then I just say else, which just means if it's any other month. And because this is all checking, or if it's first checking that the day it's being edited is larger than what would be 30, or 29, or, tw or 28, I know that the only possible situation that's not February is if the day, the days in the month is 30. So this else statement just, or the elf, else block here just kind of covers it logically. Uh, <coughs> so I think that's everything that's needed there. What's this? Yeah. Okay, so this is, um... This is editing the months. I should make a comment here saying, uh... If scrolling... Through... Months and... The day... Becomes an illegal. I should say date. And the date becomes an illegal value. Calendar wise. It's the first time I've used illegal in this context, but I guess it's the technical term for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I was commenting, that's what I was doing. Store... wait, let me move that back. Oh wait, hold on. Store the... wrong date in memory. Yeah, as a separate variable. Check if it's a leap year for February. I think all I have to say here is just, uh... Date becomes end of latest date in February. <coughs> if it's not... February, then it's obviously just a 30 day month. So this has already been assigned. So I need to assign it a second time. So I think that can just go. So I've got this saving it when it's going from uh, the end of a long month to the end of a shorter month. 
and it stores it. But then what if you're going from a shorter month to a longer month, and it is re it's going to recall that later date, and sort of puts it back to like the 31st of March, for example. Would that go... Yeah, okay. I'm just going to make another if statement. I guess else if, in this case. Kind of makes no difference, but still. If edit date is less than... Wait, what does that check for exactly? If the date is less than, um... Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. If this is less than the latest date in the month, let's get rid of that comment for now. <clears throat> okay, so now that it's like the day's lesser, is global dot edit day is less than global dot edit day memory. So if it's shorter and the memory variable is there, then I'll want to basically make the day back to what this is. <clears throat> So, I think simply it's just going to be, well, I'll just copy this so I don't have to type it all again. Global edit date equals that. Then, edit date memory basically just becomes zero? It doesn't really matter what it is, but um, zero is probably a good one to reset it. So this ensures that this line won't be read again. Although it's going to check this and then this every time this happens. But if it's not going to check this and this every time you click a month if this is where this is. So I might swap these around just so it doesn't check as often. With the last game project I was working on, I was thinking much more frequently about like memory usage and stuff. And I was working out ways to minimize like checks every frame so i'm like keeping an eye out for this stuff more often now <laughs> okay so if if there is something in memory it will check if this is lesser than this then it'll check like is this a month i can apply this memory loading thing to <clears throat> So it loads it in for memory, resets the memory because the memory's not needed anymore. And I think that's it, honestly. I think that's all I need. I think it just is taking care of it now. Um, if 
edit day memory is storing a value Check that this memory can be unloaded onto edit day based on month length. Hi, Captain Minx. How are you doing? Unload the memory value onto edit day. Then flatten. Is it flatten? I know. Flatten memory variable. That makes sense. If I'm not mistaken, this is just going to be exactly the same for both button up and down. Since so it's coded neutrally, so I should just be able to copy paste this in. So I'm going to run it. I shouldn't run it though. Because I still need to initialize that variable. Global dot edit day memory. I'm just gonna make it zero. A memory var var for. the day in certain month switching situations. Okay, hopefully this works. Uh, I'm doing good, Minx. <clears throat> this thing about how the human biological clock is 25 hours. Wait, is it? Is that why I have a mess up sleep pattern, because that's exactly how it feels. Okay. It's the first? Hold on. First. Is that always the thing? Hmm. Hmm, I have the feeling it reset the day based on all that stuff I just typed. I'm not sure why it would do that though. Oh god, that's a... <laughs> if I don't move the assistant out of the way, they block the stuff I'm trying to test. <clears throat> so I always need to put them in the corner. I'm pretty sure that started on the current date, which is the 15th. <gasps> no! What happened here? This is in button up. Line 37. <clears throat> Can I operate on string type? Yeah, 
Let it use a string, isn't it? Oh, this must break for both these, it's just not been tested yet. Um, just checking this isn't anywhere else, yeah. So I need to... If real this equals zero. <laughs> My computer explodes. No game maker. <laughs> Gonna get that grocery shopping done. Okay, Ellie. Best of luck getting the peaches. Hopefully, they're not out of peaches. Praying <laughs> this isn't break. Right, um Right. Number two. No Oh, I've not done it right, have I? That's what I needed to do. I need to put the bracket here. Because trying to do maths in that. Hmm. One or two hours, okay. Well, I'll say goodbye to you. Bye! Um, hope your day goes well. Yay, it worked! <coughs> oh god! It's the 45th of February. Oh, it's doing it. That's so cool. Oh, wait. Hmm. It's still storing the variable. It's because I need to reset it if I edit the uh, up and down arrows, such as the... The thing that would break the memory thing is if you actually manually edit the day again, it's going to be like, oh, okay, so you, you want a specific day, I will completely forget the memory thing since you know what you're doing. Uh, that's, like, because the code will understand that the person isn't being absent-minded about the day. But the memory thing is just in case they're absent-minded and it would, like, hopefully protect them from, like, errors. Yeah, wash your hands when you get in. I always wash my hands when I come in from out from the outdoors. Even if I literally use hand sanitizer outside, I will still go in and wash my hands at the sink. Um, what was the error I got? I need to. Uh... Aww. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Actually, to be honest, I always did that as well. I'd always wash my hands when I got in from the shop. I think that was like when I used to touch the... Um, 
This is all like the touch panels and stuff. Um, I just washed my hands in case like there was disease from any of the societal members. Hmm, yeah. My parents told me that too. It was a good habit. Nowadays, I actually put a sandwich bag over my hand, and uh, that's what I use to touch, like touch screens and uh, or like public touch screens at the counter, check self self serve checkouts, and the credit card number, numpad things, and I use that bag for baskets and door handles. and freezer doors. It's not a glove, but I feel like if I wore a glove it'd be really fiddly, so a sandwich bag's just much quicker for me. I can just turn it inside out and put it in my pocket. <clears throat> anyway, what was I doing? Um... So there's two bugs. One is that it doesn't flatten the memory when you edit the day, which I want to do. The other error is that I think because it doesn't properly check for a memory situation, it allows this to skip past the equals mark and go over, which the code doesn't stop at all. Okay, less, sorry. How is this written? Greater than or equal to, right? Not like that, yeah. Greater than or equal to, that should work. That little symbol change should fix it. I'll just apply that to both while I'm still remembering it. Uh, well, okay, I guess it only needs to apply to one since it's just the up direction. Right, that's one bug attempted to be fixed. The other one was the flat, the lack of flattening to that memory thing. So if I'm modifying the day it's going to f drop the memory. <laughs> Honestly, I'll just do it here. Um, global dot edit the memory equals zero. There is a an edit the number in memory. <clears throat> like an it to zero. I'm pretty sure I only need it for this. So none of this would affect it. Oh, what if they moved the year to a leap year and that affected it? Oh, God. I'm going to have to run a check for that in the year thingy. It's not needed, but I may, or it's not needed needed urgently. But I figure I might as well just to make sure it's all ironed out. Well, yeah, the leap years is so 
annoying. <laughs> I've got it checking for leap years when you're switching the month. Or for, for when it's February. But I also I realize I need to do that for leap years too now. Um Oh, this, is, this feels so stupid. Um, let's just copy this all <laughs> in here. <clears throat> They're not even consistent! No! Oh, that's awful. Uh, well, if... If there's people wanting regions that are different, I'll maybe sell that as DLC. Although that's kind of unfair, but whatever. <laughs> um... <laughs> Levy EA. <laughs> it's not Levy saw, it's Levy EA. <laughs> oh, yes, Levy EA. Stop it, Levy. Stop. Levy EA. <laughs> DLC for other regions. <clears throat> uh, anyway. <laughs> People make that joke with my name sometimes. Where I'm Levy, and they're just like, Levy saw. And I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Luckily, it's not annoying to me, I find it really funny. Also, I will be right back because I need another bathroom break. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes.
I'm back. Oh, it's my theme song! Anyway, um... Thank you. So I'm gonna have to think about exactly what's happening when I change the years here. So... It's only ever gonna be when it's February. Aww, that's cute. I need to check for February, because it's only going to be on February. So that's good to know. I just need to say, um... Hmm. How can I do this? Oh, it does a memory right here. Okay, that's good. Okay. Once the year's been changed, it's going to check if it's a leap year. I think I'll split this into separate lines just so I can better see this. Okay, it's gonna check. the leap year condition. Okay, I can probably get rid of that actually. <clears throat> actually no, because I can have all this Sort of be used as the bigger blocks here. <clears throat> so, it's a leap here. It's gonna check if this leap here is also, or like, if the assigned leap year is a leap year and it's also February. It will then want to check. Actually, that's wrong, isn't it? Because... This will only happen if you're scrolling off of a leap year.
Wait, I don't even need, I don't think I need an if statement here. So, okay, if this isn't zero, so if it's not a leap year, then it will. I don't even need this. It's like, okay, it's not a leap year. If you're in February, Checks for leap year. If it's not leap year, check if it's February. Check if it was assigned to the one leap year day in four years. And if that is the case, it's gonna store the day in memory. Then global dot edit day equals twenty This is a big mess. Actually, I don't. We need these. If you scrolled off of a leap here, if you scrolled onto a leap here, Um, I actually want to check if there's already something in memory that it doesn't actually have to go through this process for. I'm just wondering where I should put that. I'll put it here. Um. Let's see if this is. Oh wait. Edit D memory is greater than zero. My mind's kind of baked right now. I'm gonna have to stop after I finish this. Um. Okay. 
I scrolled off my leap here, and it's February, and there's nothing in memory. And there should be memory assigned, then assigned to memory. Let's see, if there's nothing in memory, then just... Okay, yeah. Only, only do this if there's not already a bigger number here. I should probably write that. Because it's not entirely clear. I think all I'm going to say here, if there's something in memory that is the 29th or above, I'm just going to say global.edit day equals 29. That probably just covers it simply. Um. God, that was a nightmare. I think it's done now. <laughs> really hope there's no game breaking bugs or other errors. Alright, what was it? It's the second. Now I'm gonna move here. Oh no!
Oh, okay, I'm stupid. not done it right. <laughs> right, I need to copy all of this mess into the down button. <laughs> Me too. So it resets the day. Oh, it's assigned it to twenty nine. Okay, so... Oh! This resets it. It must be here. Oh god, I can just sense it's Maple Story the moment I hear it. There's only one Maple Story OC remix. And somehow it just immediately like I feel I felt like this song wasn't especially Maple Story like. Like none of the main songs, but I guess it seems to be like a medley or something. Just like instantly feel it. Um so what am I going to do here? I guess I'll just say... If global.edit date memory is zero. Global the edit day memory is less than global edit day. That's probably gonna be like it will only overwrite this if there is a higher up day.
Wait. Oh, I already wrote that in the other one. Unless I am just looking at the exact same button again. <clears throat> I was indeed doing that. Okay. Ooh, hopefully this works. I think this should be the last bit. <gasps> no! It's not the worst thing. I just... I wish it would just work. Let's reset it to 29 again. <laughs> What's causing that? It's only when I click on the year. I feel like this is staring me right in the face. Be this check must be wrong. I'm thinking. Should have been obvious. It's like if I already have something in memory, reset the memory. That is the opposite of what I wanted to do. I just I didn't notice that my logic was backwards there. Um I don't know if I even needed to Add in this situation. Well, I guess better safe than sorry. Hopefully, this fixes it. Uh. Oh, damn it. wrong here. Um, Oh, it's here, right?
Mm, this... I do need to do this, I think. I think this is... Trying to do something that should be already covered, I think? Um... Mm, yeah. Um. The situation is that, like, 31 is being stored in memory. I go to February on a leap here. It becomes 29. Then I scroll from this, specifically I scroll from the year to a non-leap year and it keeps the leap year applied. I mean, my logic goes backwards again, isn't it? This is if you've scrolled off of a leap year. Oh, this is this is this is contradicting this block because this still has something in memory, and because there's something in memory, then it doesn't even run this. It doesn't reset the day back to twenty eight. Oh my god, why is this happening exactly? My brain power is almost at zero, but maybe I can work this out before stopping. <laughs> yeah. Aww. So close though. Why have I been swimming for 3 hours 20 minutes? <laughs> Guess I'm just determined to get this last in feature implemented. a high number in memory and you're scrolling to and from leap years. I think it's this. Cause I still I still want the number here to be in memory. Or I still want the memory to be kept. This is checking specifically if there's no memory. I think that's what's messing up. Cause you can scroll off a leap here and still have something higher in memory. Um or maybe I need an if uh, or I uh, maybe I need an else statement here. So if there's nothing in memory, you will store it. 
Okay, let's just try writing an else statement. This might be the solution. If I've scrolled off a leap year, and I'm in February, and... Okay, if there is nothing in memory that is 28th or above, uh, I press paste. If there is something in memory that is 29th or above, don't write memory. Maybe. I guess it's too late for that now. I just get so stubborn sometimes. I just can't stop my brain. I had to check if the spacing was off there. Oh. Okay, anyway, um... There's nothing in memory. And if scrolling through years and date becomes illegal. Chrono Trigger music? Why is that playing on the DuckTales song? Okay, I guess they just wanted to add that in. Um... Aww. <laughs> I'm just staring at this. Um... If I scroll off a leap year and I'm in February and there is something in memory... What do I do? What is the thing I do in this situation? Oh my goodness gracious! Hi Vic! Thanks so much for raiding me! You get to watch me stare with sleepy eyes at this nightmare of code. <laughs> Aww. You boot to my snoo. I really have a blush yet, but one day I'll have a blush. Hi, Vic Dis and Vic. And hi, everyone else that raided with you. <laughs> I think I might have already sold my soul. I just feel barren inside. <laughs> Oh, I've almost finished streaming. I just want to fix this last little bug, and that'll be it, I think. Mm -hmm. How's everyone doing today, though? I, I'm doing good. I'm just quite sleepy. Just excited to get to bed soon. And snuggle up with my fuzzy pajamas if it's cool. I 
Uh, what was it you were streaming, Vic? That may be it. That may be all I need to do. I think that is the end. Hopefully it works. Slash your way around England as a Viking. Is that Assassin's Creed? I feel like it could be so many games. Okay, we're now just going to check if um, the leap year fixes. Oh, I didn't copy the code over. Almost forgot. Yar- ah, okay. <laughs> Vlogging. <laughs> Vlogging and flogging. This is not the one I need to copy. I need to copy the other version. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'm gonna copy this code over to this button so I can properly test this. Ooh, please work! Oh, vlogs would be great. pretty cool. Right, 31st. Then I scroll off. Then I go to the first, and it works. I think. Yay! I think I think it works. I'm just gonna say that works. Okay. Yay! Finally got my calendar stuff working. Ugh, so I can tick that scary task off the list. Oh my god. I can't believe I did that actually. Oh gosh, okay. I guess I won't worry about the checklist until tomorrow or some other day. <sighs> so that's the end of my stream, I think. <laughs> Pajama snuggle time, aww. I'll snuggle with my Vaporeon. Hey, oh, uh, I'm not sure to actually say your name. Sh Shirezy? Shirezy? Sorry. <laughs> like sometimes I read names in in for like while I'm in chat, and I'm like, oh, I recognize that uh, that name. And uh, but when it comes to actually saying it, I'm like, Ugh. that's like I can't speak English almost. <laughs> um, okay, I am gonna look to see if there's someone I could raid. Um, I don't know actually. I'm not used to raiding, but since Rick raided me, I feel like I should raid someone else. Ah. 
Ashens is streaming, some speedrunners are streaming, Dark Souls 3, someone I've not actually met before, but I followed is tomb, is playing Tomb Raider. Oh, God, I just, I don't know. I, I may as well, I'll, I'll raid Neth the Sim, because... I guess he's like the only one I know who's actually streaming. Thanks for coming by Shirazi, but yeah, I'm gonna stop now because I've been coding for longer than I meant to. Okay, so trying to trying to work out how I do a raid. <laughs> Thanks so much for the raid again, Vic. You have a night, yeah, you have a good night too. Um, okay, I will do this raid thingy and then I will be off to bed. Oh, that face. <laughs> okay, thanks so much everyone for hanging out. Thanks for being with me, Fada Pega. Uh, just, yeah, thanks for coming by everyone. I will attempt this raid. Think I did it. Okay. Night night everyone. <laughs>